Hi, I'm Veronica Vance. Coming up, we visit Detroit's historic entertainment district, Great Town. Get adventurous and ride the trails on horseback and Segway. And then we check out some sweet treat places unique to the D, so stay tuned. Production funding for this program was made possible by the Detroit Metro Convention and Visitors Bureau. Driving tourism growth in Metro Detroit since 1896. More information is available at visitdetroit.com. I'm in one of Detroit's most well-known neighborhoods, historic Greek town. It's been here for years and it's a great neighborhood and actually it's more than that, it's a destination. It was established way back in the 1880s and it's one of the last Victorian era commercial districts in all of downtown Detroit, which lucky for us means there's lots of great photo opportunities. If you look at the architecture, you've got the flags and the lights going across the street. People come here just to walk the streets. It's pedestrian friendly, they've got authentic Greek restaurants that still serve real Greek food. Besides the authentic Greek restaurants, you've got a whole array of other kinds of foods to eat. They've got a pizza place, they've got fish bones that serves great seafood. You can get fried alligator there, sushi. They've got a place that serves barbecue. And they've got a sweet side, they've got a wonderful pastry shop. The Astoria Pastry Shop has been a staple here on Monroe Street for years. Come on. Well, Tasso, hi, I'm hi. so excited to be in here. Hi, nice to have you here. <laughs> you, you, you are really the epitome of Greek town. You've been here for yeah. years, you're a staple. People come just to come into your bakery shop. Yeah, we're an institution, <laughs> I would say. Uh, we've been here 42 years, my mom started it. A kid in a candy store, this is an adult in a bakery store. Yeah. <laughs> it's just wonderful. Thanks, we have about 100 different items oh my. that we sell. Um, a lot of them are Greek, but a lot of them are not. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a lot of customers, obviously, who are not Greek. Yeah, um, so like, what are some of the favorite Greek Greek dessert. Baklava is the number one Greek dessert. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the cookies, like the kurambia, that's a uh, wedding cookie, a Greek wedding cookie. Oh, okay. And there's a honey cinnamon cookie down there that's a uh, Christmas cookie. Those oh. are delicious oh. and very popular. So, Brandy, this is like a super crazy busy place. Yes. How do you like working here? I think it's really awesome. I've been here for four and a half years now. It's really fun. When, and like, what's your favorite? What's your favorite pastry? I have a lot of favorites. <laughs> I would have to say I love this peanut butter muff pie with chocolate on it. The eyeball. It's so that, good. That looks yummy. It is. This is like a traditional, traditional wedding. Traditional wedding cookie, cookie. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh my goodness. Those are really mm. good. Mm. Oh, it's so light. I love it. It's kind of, I taste the butter in yeah, it. Yeah, it's all, it's all butter. It's, it's all, all butter. butter. Yeah, it's <laughs> Just all what butter I cookie. need, right? Yeah, it stays soft. <laughs> Once in a while, moderation is the key, yeah, right? Yeah, well, it would be the key if we did it. <laughs> the reason we put a window in the back yeah. of the kitchen is so people can walk up to it and watch people make it. Mm. You know? Now that uh, is the... Mm. Cloves and cinnamon. That's nice, and I yeah. like the nuts on top. Mm -hmm. And of course, baklava, sticky. Yeah. But this is just, I love baklava. Yeah. And that baklava with is made with walnuts. Walnuts, okay. Mm -hmm. that, is yeah. that so that's your traditional that, way? Yeah, then, traditionally, baklava is made with walnuts, mm. but you can make it with, with a lot of mm. different nuts. Oh my goodness, that is so yummy. All that sticky goodness. Mm. Yes. <laughs> so we've had the Greeks, you, you yeah. brought in an, a sort of an American restaurant into Greek town. It's yeah. barbecued. It's Red Smoke. Right. When we opened this restaurant, there were seven Greek restaurants here. Mm -hmm. So not only were all of those Greek restaurants my friends that I didn't want to compete yeah. with, but we wanted to renovate this building. Well, this is beautiful. You, you guys just completely redid this. This building was uh, 60 feet. And we added another 40 feet. And then we left the old walls yeah. up. And that's the old roof, too. Wonderful character. Yeah. And we sell oh, only Michigan beers here, only oh. Michigan draft beers. So how's the barbecue here? Oh, it's delicious. <laughs> we smoke all our own meats, uh, brisket, pulled pork, uh, baby back ribs, regular ribs. We make our own andouille sausage, which is delicious. Oh, wow. uh, the chicken is uh, marinated in apple juice and soy sauce overnight. Yeah. And then smoke that. It's one of the best things. Yeah, you get a, two, two and a half pounds of chicken in one serving. Oh that's my a goodness, huge, that's a sinful. Huge, yeah, it's a huge amount. <laughs> this little treat that we've got here, we've yeah, got... These just came out of the smoker, and these are uh, baby back ribs mm -hmm. and uh, regular spare ribs. Wow, they are huge and meaty. Yeah. Now, and then in your different sauces, the red smoke, do you think I can handle this? Oh, I don't know. The red smoke <laughs> is pretty hot. I'm going to try <laughs> it. We'll see. Um, 
And that's red smoke. We have uh, roasted poblano and Memphis mm. mud, which is really sweet, and cherry molasses. That's our Michigan um, sauce. And then we have a mustard sauce, too. Okay, well, I'm going to try the really spicy. I'm gonna yeah, gonna go okay. for it, right? Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, so what do you have? So it's, it's yeah, it has a hot. Mm, kind of hot. Yeah, yeah. a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the water? Mm. No, you drink, you drink beer with beer. that. Beer. Oh, better, yeah. <laughs> we, don't, we don't drink water in here. <laughs> I can have beer. Yeah. These are delicious. They are yeah. so meaty. Yeah. Want to try cherry. the cherry molasses? That yeah. goes well with those ribs. Yeah. Uh, mm. When I eat them, I don't eat I don't eat, no. usually, usually you use the sauce. Mm, that's fabulous. What a wonderful yeah. treat. Can I have a doggy bag for these? Because yeah. I can't eat them all, but Absolutely. they are fabulous. Yeah. Everyone leaves here with a doggy bag because they can't eat well, all the dinner. Well, I guess so. The <laughs> amount of food you're giving people is yeah. insane. So I've been sent down here, I've been told that this is the place to get an authentic gyro, just like they serve in Greece at the Golden Fleece. Come on. This is your typical Greek street food, where you find every corner in Greece, in any region, any part of Greece. Uh, this is a gyros, authentic lamb, okay. and shish kebab. You see it, you and smell it, you grab a piece, and you walk out of the door. There's no waiting, there's no sit down, you just grab it. It usually comes in the roll up in the pita bread mm -hmm. with uh, french fries inside, tomatoes, onions, and tzatziki sauce. French Lots fries of, inside of yes, it? Yes, oh. really good. Mmm. 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 Oh, like cucumber sauce. Mmm. Yum. Tzatziki. Tzatziki. Mmm. Yum. Thanks, Johnny. Thank you. <laughs> you. See you. Before you go, let me show you something. Oh, okay. So you have the authentic Euro sandwich. Yes. Uh, how about some ouzo? You familiar with ouzo? It's uh, licorice. Greek, Greek licorice. That's right. Licorice. Okay. And so you said you grab the sandwich and you go. You press the button. Get out of town. A shot of ouzo when you go. Yamas. <laughs> Yamas. Uh, Yamas. <laughs> That's exactly. Yamas. <laughs> Are you gonna join me? I guess actually. Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell my boss. <laughs> Yamas. Yamas. Mmm. Oh, that's Opa. good. It's chilled. Yum. Exactly. Mm. <laughs> so Greek Town has so much more than Greek food. They've got a great street for walking, lots of lively entertainment, and of course, everywhere you go, you're greeted with that warm Greek hospitality. Some outdoor adventures planned for you today from horseback riding to Segway rides and a few other twists along the way. Isn't that right, Rusty? Hey, for all you outdoor adventure enthusiasts, today we're going to show you a couple different options. Like, did you know that Metro Detroit has dozens and dozens of horseback riding trails? I mean, we've got up in northern Oakland County, we've got the Polyan Trail in Oxford that goes almost all the way up to Lapeer. And did you know that in the city of Highland, if you have your own horse, you can actually ride it downtown and go shopping? And then, of course, we've got our state parks like Mayberry State Park right in Northville. And that's where I am today at the Mayberry Riding Stable. And then did you know that we also have Segway tours all across the D from an urban experience downtown to back to enjoying nature along Heinz Drive. It runs from Dearborn to Northville and there are different ways to cruise it. You can cruise it by Segway, by bike, and we have a little surprise of another way to cruise it. And if you want to take a little break from all your outdoor adventures, we've got two great towns that you're going to want to stop in. Well, hi, 
I am so excited to be here at uh, Mayberry Riding Stables. Mm -hmm. We're inside the state park, yes. right in mm -hmm. Northville, and you wouldn't believe that it, this was even here. You don't need reservations to ride a horse unless you want a private tour, right? Or explain that to correct, me. Correct, okay. correct. We do offer walk-ins um, during any of our, our open hours for private rides, birthday parties, pony parties, things like that. Fun ideas. We do need a reservation, okay. but if you just want to come out and go for a trail ride, we do offer the walk-ins. Mm -hmm. We get you up on a horse and go for a trail ride. All our rides are guided. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just for the safety of our horses and our riders. You've got little kids out here, so you've got camps yes. as well. Yep, we do have summer camp. It's Tuesday through Friday from 9 a.m. until noon. Um, they always get to brush their horses. They'll kind of have their own horse for okay. the week. Um, and then we do offer uh, the trail ride. They'll go for at least one ride a day. And then we do other little hands-on type things back here. Now, mm -hmm. how long is the trail? The trail, uh, it takes approximately 50 minutes to an hour to get mm -hmm. through the trail. Um, lengthwise, uh, it's around three miles. Uh, it's just, just under three miles. I am excited to ride a <laughs> horse. Do you have one picked out for me? We do, yeah. <laughs> You'll love her. She's very pretty. She's a good horse, yeah. So when you come, you have have to wear um, long pants and closed toed shoes. Yes. But it but it's so shaded through this trail, mm -hmm. you wouldn't even realize it's the middle of summer. And I would imagine in the fall, like you were saying, it's just a beautiful ride through here. It is. Most of these trees turn like a yellow golden color. Yeah. It's just it's gorgeous out here. It's cooler. The horses like the cooler weather. Yeah. There's less bugs. There's like no flies out I'm, here. I'm, I'm perfectly yeah. perfect now too though, right in the middle of yeah. summer. Yeah, yep, it's pretty nice. It's this a morning. beautiful ride. Mm -hmm. And now how old do you have to be to come out here? Um, to do our trail rides, they do have to be eight. Eight? Um, yep, okay. yep, to come out on the trail. Uh, for younger kids, we do offer our little buckaroo lessons and also pony rides. Uh, when we get back up in here, you can just let Boston walk in. Okay. And then just stay up on her and just wait for one of us to come around to help you down. And then once you're down off of her, you just want to make sure you walk around the front of her. Sure. And now I'm along the beautiful Heinz Drive Park where you can rent more stuff for your outdoor adventure. We've got bikes here. We've got Segways, they've got tandem bikes if you want to go with a couple, and they've also got this thing over here called a Surrey bike. We're going to find out about that in a minute, but let's go inside Heinz Park Segway Rental and get geared up. Hi, Ed. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? <laughs> hey, so that's Surrey bike. Never seen anything like it. Can we take a ride on it? Let's go out and take a look at it. I'll give you some information. Okay, cool. It's great family fun. Uh, two adults, two children can ride up front. Okay. If you pedal it, right? Yeah. Uh, it's great to ride through the park. All ages can enjoy this. So any tips that you give riders when they rent this? Yeah. Uh, don't go north on the hills. Don't go north because of the hills. <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> but it's great teamwork, yes. right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, how long is it by the hour? You rent this by the hour? Yeah. Uh-huh. And we always, when people come in, We'll recommend. They only take it for an hour. An hour, okay. We do a lot of the uh, first date. First dates, dates. yeah, yeah it'd be fun. People with their children come. Yeah. Uh, people can ride this along with their um, someone else on a bike. You know, it's there's a lot of activities that can be done in the park, particularly on this. Well, I loved the Surrey ride. That was so unique. That you only can do it right here along Heinz Drive. And I know you've got the other bikes too. You rent those by the hour as well? Yes, we get one hour, two hour, three hour, half day, full day rentals on the bikes. There's bikes for all ages, little kids all the way through to adults. Uh, and they can do that by themselves. The Segways, we always do safe guided tours. You're safe always with the gui guide. And then when you rent the bikes too, you can go off on the trails. You can go anywhere along Heinz Drive that yes. you want, correct? 17 and a half miles of, of parkway that you can ride. On Saturdays, they close six and a half miles of it, the okay. roadway, and it's only for bikers, rollerbladers, skateboards, walkers, runners, and segways. From nine in the morning till 3.30 in the afternoon on Saturdays, all summer. And the segways, well, half our ride is on the walkways, about half the ride is up on trails up in the woods. We're open seven days a week, and we're open from 10 in the morning to about an hour and a half before dark, our last okay. ride has to go out. Lean forward, lean forward. When somebody takes a tour and you guide them, do they request, oh, I want to go out on a trail, or I want to stay yeah. along? Yes, uh, people request a one-hour ride. There's certain trails they would like to ride. Okay. Yeah. We'll accommodate if we can. Yeah. You made a 
it's so easy to yeah. learn how to ride. Well, it's women learn quicker than men. Women and, do. Yeah, and kids even learn quicker than women. Our oldest rider was 97. 97? Yeah. We're going to go off the okay. trail. We're going to go back up in the woods and ride on some trails. I'm following my guide. All right. Oh, this is a pretty, pretty bridge to cover. Cross. This is a fun trail. Oh, yeah, it's a beautiful trail. Just the key is to not look down. And it's easy breezy yeah. as long as you don't look down. Do the tours ever stop if, if somebody wants to stop? Sometimes we'll stop, particularly if there's something in particular that they want to see. Yeah? So, Ed, I know we start at your location at Ann Arbor Trail, right by Nankin Mills, but then how far does a typical ride usually take you? A one-hour ride is about five to seven miles. Oh, that's some pretty good ground cover. This trail here, actually, we run in our twilight ride. We oh. ride when it's almost dark in this trail. Uh, we oh, light I up bet the that's segway. fun. Yes, a lot of fun. These are just side trails. We have many side trails that are more intense in the riding for going back up in the woods. So it, the twilight trails, are there headlights on the segways? Headlights on the segways, and we also light up the trail some. Oh, fun. Ooh, that was so much fun. I loved going through the canopy of trees, Ed. Oh, the trail riding is the best part of the whole thing. It is yeah. so much fun, and you made it so easy with your instructions and everything. And I want to ask, too, if you want to rent one of these, do you have to make a reservation, or can you just show up? No, it's best to make a reservation so we know we got the segways and we got the guides. Gotcha. Right? By the way, you're a great rider. Oh, well, thank you very much. You made it easy. I think it was the instructor. instructor. <laughs> a little modest. You never heard anybody. Yeah. Oh, well, this has been so much fun exploring Heinz Drive. For all you great outdoor adventure seekers, we go to Heinz Drive Segway Rental. All right? Yep. So if you want to take a break from all those great outdoor adventures, I promise you we're going to stop at two picturesque towns. And the first one is downtown Plymouth. It's not far away from where we just were. They've got the beautiful Kellogg Park here. They have all, all kinds of great outdoor dining. You can get Italian. they got a pizza place around the corner. There's great pizza. They've got authentic Mexican here. Anything you want, ice cream galore. And of course, they have great events all year long. Nearby, they also have the Inn at St. John's. It's a wonderful place to stay. It's on beautiful grounds because it also comes with the golf course. The other picturesque town I was talking about is at the north end of Hines Drive where it ends at Seven Mile and just down the road from Mayberry Riding Stables and it's downtown Northville. I'm in their square here. They take full advantage of this. They have free music on Friday nights throughout the summer. They've got great shopping, tons of great dining options. You can sit outside and enjoy Mediterranean, American, they've got Asian, they've got great sushi and it's just a really great place to grab an ice cream, come to the square and relax. As the song goes, it's summertime and the living is easy, so what better time to be adventurous and enjoy some of the natural beauty and scenic trails that we have to offer in the D. There are plenty of things to see and do in Metro Detroit and our calendar of events is up next to point you in the right direction. See baseball the way it was meant to be played, then it's time to fire up those engines for cruise and crash it. Take a ride down memory lane at Greenfield Village, then feast your eyes on design and automotive beauty. Cool off along the riverfront during Detroit River Days and car buffs head downriver for summertime cruising. Celebrate the red, white and blue with fireworks above the Detroit River and at the Stars and Stripes Festival in Novi. The Corktown Strut is Detroit's 4th of July festival and Bike Safari is an evening of bicycles, beasts and beers. Thousands of motorcycles roar into Hart Plaza for Motorcycle City. Then the Concert of Colors celebrates world music. Enjoy jazz, the blues and vintage cars at the Paradise Valley Music Festival. Then shop the Ann Arbor Street Art Fair. To learn of any changes, log on to visitdetroit.com or call 1-800-DETROIT. Detroit is definitely making its mark in the food world as foodies are discovering all the great flavors of Detroit. We've got celebrity chefs that have restaurants, we've got pop-up restaurants that occur all the time, but we've also got some unique places that offer sweet treats. And our first stop is Bon Bon Bon. We're right at the corner of Griswold and Fort inside the Chrysler House. Come on, you're going to love this. I 
come in here every day. I every work in this day. building, okay. but I come in here once a day and uh -huh. I just get myself one bond. I get a different one every day and I'm trying to go through all of them. Do you have a favorite so far? Oh, I really like Whiskey Lullaby. Whiskey Lullaby, I'm a fan of that one. Just like the melted off whiskey into caramel, it's it's fantastic. You can't beat it. So bond, bond, bond. Is that good, good, good? Is that, what is that? Pretty mean? much. It loosely translates in a couple different languages to being good, goody. Good goody? A oh, good goody. Okay. So it's just something little, it's uh -huh. something special, and, and it's a good one. And you've got such a neat variety of flavors. I love how they're packaged in the cute little boxes. So this one's black truffle. It's a black boar truffle, which is actually like truffle, like the mushroom. Oh. It's in a white chocolate ganache and then in a dark chocolate shell. Mac and cheese is one where it mac sounds real cheese. crazy. Yeah, but it's not at all. It's a French macaron and mascarpone cheese. Okay. And it's drizzled with dark chocolate. Whiskey lullaby. It's a whiskey caramel with chamomile ganache and candied chamomile flowers. Ooh. Carrie hates pink. It's for a production manager who hates pink and then invented a pink bonbon. <laughs> She's like, can we put this one on the menu? And we all just went, you hate pink. Mm -hmm. So, hence, Carrie hates pink. Carrie hates pink. But they rotate through all the time, so oh, we yes. have almost oh, 70 peppermint. all together. 70? Pick out a couple, and then and we can show you how the pectin works. Well, I definitely want to try that. Carrie hates pink because okay. I love peppermint. <laughs> Great. <laughs> the Better Butter Crunch. Whiskey, caramel, chamomile, ganache, and dark chocolate. Whiskey lullaby. Oh. So when you get home, you can open it back up and see you have your own personal map as to what's going on. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> Wait a minute, Daddy. I love the packaging. Let's start with the uh, sweet and salty. Okay, butter, perfect. butter, butter crunch. Oh. Inside. <laughs> mm. oh. oh my god. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. The sweet and the salt and the crunch. It's mm. like everything you wish a Nestle Crunch Bar was. It's like a whole, <laughs> one whole perfect bite. The whiskey lullaby. Mm -hmm. Ooh, <laughs> and it's got the caramel in the bottom. Oh, wow. That is heavenly. That is Isn't that great? so good. Carrie hates pink. <laughs> peppermint and peppermint. Dark It's a chocolate? peppermint cream. Okay. Mmm. Mm -hmm. The whole thing is pink inside, which is fucking yeah. I love it. Oh. Isn't that great? Nice. I have to take some to go. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Let's pack up a box for you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so now here I am at the north end of Detroit's bustling Eastern Market in front of Milano Bakery. We're going to go inside and find out how they've been doing baked goods for decades in the D. We always try something different yeah. every time we come. Yeah. And you like to sit and dine in and you, or outside yeah. in the summertime. Yeah, it's just a nice treat. I'm going to tell you it smells fabulous in here. Well, thank you. So you were the pastry chef here. Yes. And so you kind of oversee all of the sweet I, treats? I'm in charge of a lot of the sweet ones and then we have some bakers at nighttime who do like the um, pastry ones that we're in front of right now. So. And I see up there too, you don't just do pastry items, you do pizza and sandwiches. Yes, yes, we have, we're a full cafe. What are some of your favorite things, some of your hot sellers that people just come in and, and can't leave without? Our pineapple upside down cakes are huge sellers. Mm -hmm. but we also have like our danishes, the almond danish is amazing. Mm -hmm. We do birthday cakes, we do wedding cakes. Wow, wedding cake. Pretty much anybody, anything you want, we can make happen. Well, you've got some really neat looking things in here, like the peanut butter bar, caramel bumpy cakes, yeah. Oreo cake. These things look delicious. We have oh, our fruit, are... fresh fruit tarts and our cute little bumblebee yeah, cupcakes. Yeah, those are adorable. The bumblebee cupcakes are cute. This is more of your baked goods, your cookies. Yes, our baked goods. And then we got like things like the traditional like apple jack and cherry jack, which everybody seems to really love. Mm -hmm. And then, we, of course, we have our butter cookies. Huge oh, Christmas yum, seller. Yum. Okay, now the best part, I get to try some of the items. <laughs> what do we, we've got here? The um, that's the almond danish, mm -hmm. and then of course we got our chocolate bumby and our pineapple upside pineapple. down cake. Oh my goodness! Yeah, you have Surprise to get the almond inside. You have almond. to get the almond filling inside. That's the best mm -hmm. part about it. Oh. Mm. Oh my goodness! Looks like the almond taste is exploding in your mouth. That yeah, is delicious. I'm not sure how we make okay. it so delicious, but it's delicious. That is so light and flaky too. Mm. Mm. All that sticky goodness on top with the pineapple. Mmm, mmm. That's one of the best flavors. You get the, what is it, kind of the 
sweet and sour taste of the pineapple a little bit or what? Yeah, the sweet and then, and then you got like the brown sugary type caramely oh. to it. Yeah, the chocolate. Look how thick that icing is on there. Oh my goodness. Okay. Mm. Mm, that's just a little bite of heaven on this fork, isn't it? Boom, <laughs> boom. <laughs> Oh, that is just wonderful. Well, Laura, I want to thank you so much for showing off Milano Cafe. No problem. It's a pleasure. Yeah, so you picked out some fabulous treats, and I want to say this is the perfect ending to a bunch of sweet treats downtown. So if your sweet tooth is calling you, we've got you covered. Okay, I'm going to go back to this pineapple upside down cake because you are right. This is just the bomb. It is delicious. <laughs> oh, I love it. Well, that's our show. Thanks for watching. I'm Veronica Vance. And remember, if you would like more information on any of the places we visited, log on to visitdetroit.com. So until I see you next time, go and explore on your own and discover the D. To learn about discounts and special offers for featured attractions, plus how to get copies of Visit Detroit magazine, click on visitdetroit.com. Hang on, I gotta figure out how to turn it. Always something happening here. You never know what? Oh, hang on. Oh, how's that? Is that better? Thank you. <laughs> Does that happen often? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> what I want to do is even to get more direct.